Hey everybody, Karen here. Welcome back to Unpinned Creative. Today I'm going to be showing you how I created this page in my winter journal. So let's get into it. So all I've done is um, obviously die cut this, inked around it, and then I've drawn the outline of where I want it to be on the page, which you may or may not be able to see. And there you go. And now I am going to pop a piece of paper behind it so I don't um, affect the pages, rest of the pages in the journal. Okay, so I'm just going to take the back of a serviette and use my clear gesso and pop that down on this page to add some texture. And the reason I have drawn the outline of the deaf image is because I would like to get kind of within the dear image fairly flat and not textured and around the outside of it a bit more textured so let's see how that works so homemade clear gesso which is just PVA water and cornstarch or corn flour So now I'm just taking extra bits of tissue and um, popping it on around the outline that I made of that deer. Just to try and get a bit more texture. I don't know if it's going to make a difference, but <laughs> that's what I'm going with. Okay. Now I'm going to dry that off. Okay, that's mostly dry now. And you can see the outline of the deer is much less textured than the rest of the page. And now what I'm going to do is take some white gesso and cover the page. I don't need to cover where the deer is going, especially. Okay, and then while that white gesso is still wet, I'm going to bring in some acrylic paints in blue. And just very roughly colour the page. So I want to make sure I'm going over the edge of um, that line that I drew outlining the deer. But I don't need to colour it all in. That's all going to be covered anyway. It's much darker blue on the screen than it is in real life. In real life it's more a greeny um, blue. So I am going to bring in a little bit more of this greeny blue colour. Okay, I'm going to dry that off and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, that is nice and dry. Um, quick tip when you're drying um, a page like this, which you've put quite a bit of paint on, dry it from the back as well. So I spend a few minutes just with the heat gun drying the back of the page. It, I feel it helps dry the page and the paint from behind, so it, it dries a bit faster and more thoroughly. Um, and now I'm just taking my brush again and some white acrylic paint and I'm just going to lighten up a wee bit around where that deer is going
Okay, that is good. I'm going to dry that off again. And now I'm going to take my dry brush, so a completely dry paintbrush, and a tiny bit of the white acrylic paint. I'm going to rub most of it off. And then I'm moving in one direction. So from top to bottom, I'm going to carefully brush over the page. That brush wasn't working for me, so I've swapped to a different one. Now I'm going to bring my deer in and see how he's looking. Uh, it, the colour doesn't make it look good <laughs> on camera, but in the reality, in reality, it looks um, it's much softer, a much softer colour. So it um, it got, it looks nicer, in my opinion. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to glue him down now. Um, and I think I will do that. I think I'll do that with the clear gesso. Possibly not the best choice. Oh, I'm getting my Mod Podge. I'm just making sure that the edges are really well stuck down, especially. You know what? I didn't put my paper back underneath, did I? <sighs> well, that's okay. That just adds to the fun on that page. Right, I'm going to dry that off and I might go over it with clear gesso again. Okay, that's all dry. And now I'm just going to go around the out, um, outline of that deer with my black water soluble pencil. So you could use a Stabilo, um, you could use charcoal, you could use um, your ink pad. Um, I really love using eyeshadow actually and I might end up using that as well. Black eyeshadow. Okay, and I've just gone around the outside edges of the page as well and now I'm just going to grab a cotton bud or um, a q-tip I think you call them in the states maybe <laughs> I'm not sure Jerry you'll have to tell me if you're watching and um, I wet it and then just smudge out those that black um, pencil So the wetter your um, smudging tool is, you could use a blending stick, um, a proper blending stick for painting, I guess, as well. Um, but the wetter it is, the lighter effect you'll get from the water-soluble pencil. You won't get, it won't be as black, and then the more it dries, the blacker the um, smudge, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I probably want to take some of the black away from down here. It's a bit too much for me. So I'm just going to get wet the Q-tip again. And smudge it out a bit more. And then I'm just going to go around the edges. And I really should have my paper underneath. I wish you could see the actual colour of this. <laughs> and now I'm going to bring in my black eyeshadow. And just go around the very edge of the image. I'm sure there are proper art supplies that do, will give you this effect um i don't know what they are i don't 
I don't um, keep up with all the millions of art supplies there are out there. I just use what I have around the house or what I find. So the reason I like eyeshadow is it gives a really soft, smudgy look and a, and a slight um, shimmer if you have a shimmery eyeshadow, obviously. It's easy to apply and it gives me the effect I want. Now I'd quite like to make his antlers a bit more um, special. <laughs> so I think I'm going to get some my copper foil and um, pop those on there because his antlers seem to have regressed into the background a bit and I want to bring them out again. Sorry, I forgot to hit record again. So basically all I've done is taken my glue stick and my finger and smushed glue on to the image where I want the copper foil to go, to go. Just like this. The trick is that you want the glue to be tacky, not wet. So you want it sticky and um, and then you just, I just take my copper foil, which I picked up second hand. And smush it down on top. I think that's pretty cool. quite happy with that okay I want to put some little white dots on his eyes to bring them forward a bit as well that's better and now I'm just going to bring in some bubble wrap and my gesso, white gesso again. Paint that on my bubble wrap. My bubble wrap is not clean. You'll notice I don't clean stuff, but it all adds to the texture, in my opinion, and I love texture, so... <laughs> it's very cool. Yes. Okay, that is pretty cool, I reckon. I'm quite happy with that actually. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave it there for that one. Yep, I'll leave it there.
um, but I've had lots of fun doing this so I'm going to let that dry and then I'll carry on with the um, finishing off the rest of the pages. The rest of the pages will go really quickly. This is the only real decoration I'm doing in this journal and um, the rest will just be little quick easy things like this pocket. So um, yep, thank you for joining me on this and um, I'll see you soon.